from the Daily Mail. Is this the future of condoms? Cap device goes on the very tip of the penis to boost sensitivity, inventor claims. Ooh. An American has invented a new condom, which he says is stronger, safer, and enables better sensitivity. Well, yeah, if it just goes on the tip, obviously. <laughs> but if you're doing the, hey, baby, just the tip line, then what's the point? An American has invented, oh, anyways, safer, <laughs> stronger, safer, enables better sensitivity. Everybody's a skeptic here, right? The galactic cap pregnancy prevention device. Come on, how could you devout, like, how could you possibly question a device called the Galactic Cap Pregnancy Prevention. If you, oh, well, if you had known that was what it was called, Sierra, would you have been cool with it? Because, uh, guys, you need to know this. Like, go with the device that girls respond to. When, hey, baby, it's cool. I've got a Galactic Cap. It, <laughs> yeah, it comes with a little Darth Vader helmet. It, it was developed by LA-based Charles Powell, Powell after a friend of his contracted HIV. Wait a second. If it... Wait, huh? You see a problem here? Only covers the tip. HIV prevention. Am I missing something? Anyway, he believes this product is easier to use, safer and more secure, and vastly more pleasurable, giving a sex sensation the way nature intended. <laughs> I guess if you had your foreskin cut off and you like miss feeling something extra there, this could be like a temporary. So yeah, in a way, it's like it's more like nature created than even you know, raw dog. And if you're circumcised. Right? But I, I'm still not getting the HIV prevention part here. All right. <laughs> it comes with instructions, though. Are you guys you sure for this? Well, the condom comprises two parts a U shaped polyurethane adhesive film that wraps around the penis like a plaster around a finger and a cap that sticks to it to firmly trap semen. So it is, I guess, completely covering it, but with a wrap? Mr. Powell claims the polyurethane part is like a second skin and can be put on hours or days in advance, as it can be worn while urinating and washing. South Park already did that. Don't you remember? <laughs> All the boys are wearing condoms, like, no, it's cool, I'm wearing a condom. You won't get any STDs from me, like walking around school, third graders, right? <laughs> Wait, they were, they were fourth grade at that point. Um, geez, this sounds like fun. Sounds like nature intended. <laughs> I'm gonna wear a condom, like, all the time. That's... That's got to be healthy. Holy crap. Ugh. When a man wants to have sex, he peels off the paper backing on the cap and sticks it to the polyurethane to securely bond the two and trap semen. He insists the device, which is trans transparent, will stay on for the duration. No, really, baby, it's there. It's my new invisible condom. <laughs> but <laughs> this is like... Woo, um, it, it, it feels, I mean, this is like, this is what they said about condoms in the first place, right? The sensation the way nature intended. And like, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of condoms, don't get me wrong, like, but it's, it's kind of like taking a shower with your socks on. But hey, if taking a shower with your socks on meant, you know, you would never like die from taking a shower, I'd probably wear socks in the shower too. So he also maintains that traditional products have a failure rate of up to 18% due to the breakage or improper usage. The reservoir cap is thicker and stronger than a traditional condom and less likely to break or fail. But critics have pointed out that the device will not prevent protection from STIs such as herpes, which can be transmitted through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. All right. Thanks for stepping in and ruining the party. Jason Warner, clinical director of the sexual health charity Terrence Higgins Trust, told Mail Online, this will not prevent the spread or of conditions such as HIV or herpes, as the whole penis is not covered. So what is this guy doing? Hey, well, my friend got HIV, so let me see if I can trick a bunch of other people into doing something that's not gonna protect them from HIV. Might prevent pregnancy, though. It may be suitable for a couple in a long-term relationship, but not as a barrier to STIs. There is also the risk that the cat may leak exposing semen. Ugh. As of June 1st, the company will be crowdfunding to raise funds for development and FDA approval. Well. Good luck with that, guys. Anyways, some have hailed it as a condom, as the condom solution for the porn industry as it leaves much of the shaft uncovered. It's estimated that in 2012, 18.5 billion condoms were sold worldwide. This is expected to increase to 27 billion units by next year with the market worth $6 billion. Wait a second. What happened to the, uh, the Bill Gates dissolving condom? Did he just like give up on that? He's like, no, screw it. We want people to die. You guys remember that? Anybody? No? Bill Gates? Condom? He sucks. Yeah. Oh, this is from, this is from November last year. 
Meet the 11 condoms of the future selected by Bill Gates. Want to know what you're going to be wearing on your dick next fall? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation got you covered. Yeah, this is, okay, so they're still in this contest. They've got 812 entries for its Build a Better Condom competition. 11 of them just got $100,000 to make it happen. Well, I just got to read these names. Then I promise we'll move on. The Tenderloin, the Shrinking Sheath, the Handlebar, a.k.a. the Big Easy, the Saran Wrap, the Model T, the Warm Embrace, Daddy's Little Helper, the Memory Stick, the Cheating Heart, the Invincible Trojan, and the Invisible Glove. <laughs> but none of these top. Just the tip, baby. Just the tip. Oh, shit. I'm nine inches away from your crotch, and I'm feeling your... And what are you doing? I'm um, just talking to some friendly TSA agents. Really? Would you mind stepping out of my personal space, sir? How many terrorists have been caught by the TSA? 